In this video, we will take a look at how the merge sort algorithm works and how we can use the merge algorithm which we have developed earlier in this merge sort. So let's see what the steps merge sort takes are using an example. So this is going to be my list or array, uh, my collection of elements which are currently in the unsorted order and I want to get back the same set of elements in the sorted manner. So the first thing merge sort does is it's going to divide this array or list into a left and a right sub part. So let me call this right one and left one. Now this left and right could have also been divided as three elements and two elements. That is completely up to your implementation. Now what merge sort says is that if you are able to sort the left subset and if you are able to sort the right subset, I can merge these two arrays into a larger array in the same sorted fashion. So once I have sorted the left and once I have sorted the right, I will be able to merge these two sets into a larger sorted set. So the task we have now is to sort left one and sort right one. So how are we going to do that? We can do that by calling the merge sort algorithm once again to left one and right one respectively. First, let's call the merge sort algorithm to left one. So I'm going to call merge sort to left one. So when we call merge sort to left one, what is the list or array that we receive? We are going to receive this array. So we have to take the steps merge sort was taking once again because we are calling merge sort algorithm. We divide this into a left set. Let's call this left 2 and a right set. Let's call this right 2. Now what merge sort says is if you can sort the left 2 and right 2, I will be able to use the merge algorithm to merge these two sub arrays into a larger sorted array. So what should I do now? I need a method to sort left 2 and sort right 2. So in that case, what will I do? I'll call merge sort once again. I'll call merge sort to left 2. So let's see what left 2 contains. Left 2 is a single element list or a single element array. We know that single element lists or arrays are always sorted. Because there can be no other way this one element can be placed. It has to be, it is in an order and it is in a sorted order. So when we get a single element, we say that that array which has only one element is going to be sorted. So if the length of our array is going to be only one element, then we can return from merge sort saying that yes, we have sorted the array which is of one element and we will return that to you. So at this point it is one element so we can return and when we return what do we say? We say that left 2 has been sorted. So now that we have sorted left 2 what must we do? We need to sort right 2. So what should we do then? We have to call 
merge sort to write to. So let me underline all the calls to merge sort. When we call merge sort to write to, what is the list that we encounter? Once again, this is a single element array, so it's only one element. So we say that we can return from here and write to is sorted. So if left to and right to are both sorted arrays, what is the next step we must take? We say that if we have two sorted arrays, then we can merge these two sorted arrays into a larger array in a sorted manner using the merge function. So since left to and right to is sorted, We have to call the merge algorithm for left to and right to. Merging these two sorted arrays, left to and right to, what is the array that we will get? We will get a merged array in sorted fashion. We will get 4 and then 5. Once we have merged left 2 and right 2, so once once we have merged left 2 and right 2, what can we say? We can say that left 1 is sorted. Because what did we say when we need to sort left 1? We need to sort left 2, sort right 2 and merge them. Then we will get a sorted left 1. So that's exactly what we have done. And we have got a sorted left 1. So once left 1 has been sorted, what is our job? We need to sort right 1. So we call merge sort to right 1. When we call merge sort to right 1, we get a list like this, which is 1, 3, 2. To this, we are going to <coughs> we are going to divide it into left and right. So let's call this left 3 and let's call this right 3. To sort right 1, we need to sort left 3, then sort right 3, and then merge the sorted left 3 and right 3. So let's first call merge sort to left 3. Of course, this is going to be a single element list or array, so we are going to return, saying that left 3 is sorted. Now, once left 3 has been sorted, we need to sort right 3. So let's call merge sort to right 3. If we call merge sort to right 3, we are going to get a list which looks like this. So we have called merge sort to right 3. Now we need to make a left of this right 3 which we are going to call left 4 and we will make a right of this right 3 which we will call right 4. Now in order to sort right 3 we must sort left 4 then sort right 4 and then merge left 4 and right 4 and then we will be able to sort right 3. So I am going to continue on this side. So what did we say? We need to sort left 4 then sort right 4, then merge, then only we will be able to sort right 3. So we need to sort left 4. So call merge sort on left 4. When we do that, we will be left with only one element in left 4. So in that case, we can return. 
we have sorted left 4 now let's sort right 4 so we are going to call merge sort on right 4 again it is only one element so we can return so now that we have sorted left 4 and right 4 what do we have to do we have to merge left 4 and right 4 using the merge algorithm we will get an array or a list which looks like this we have merged these two arrays or lists in a sorted manner into a larger array so now we say that right 4 and left 4 have been sorted we have merged it and now right 3 has been successfully sorted what can we say after this right 3 is sorted so if left 3 is sorted and right 3 is sorted we can merge left 3 and right 3 to get a sorted right 1 so merge left 3 and right 3 M left 3 is 1 right 3 is 2 3 so merging this in a sorted fashion we will get the array 1 2 3 so this is going to be sorted right 1 so now we have sorted right 1 this when we had merged left 2 and right 2 we had received at we have arrived at a sorted left one with left one sorted and right one sorted what must we do we have sorted these two so we need to merge left one and right one so merging left one and right one that is merging four and five and one two three in a sorted fashion we will get the array or list one two three four five this is when we we can arrive at this because we call the merge function now so as you can see from an unsorted list we have taken all these steps and we have arrived at a sorted list this is how the merge sort algorithm is going to work